Good afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen. I hope you're all well and uh, a lot of you will be very happy that your children are all going back to school very shortly um, or some of them may be even back already. Anyway, I uh, sorry I haven't been on for a few days. Um, I've been hobbling around on my, my knee still so I'm hoping to get vaccine to very shortly actually. And uh, let's just see who's on here. I see a few people coming on just now, so that's great. I thought I'd um, back on to my very clean eating. Hi, Beverly, how are you? And Kathy Wilson, good to see you, Kathy. Hey, Kathy, this is a treat that I'm making for you uh, with you doing all that walking and running that you do like a crazy woman. <laughs> I don't know how you do all that. But anyway, hopefully I'll be able to join you next time I'm in Florida. So hi, Amy, good morning, and good morning, Lee, how are you, and Diane, how are you from Elliott Lake? Nice to see you, Diane. Um, anyways, I hope your neighbors are treating you better, Diane. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I thought I'd come on today. I'm going back onto my clean eating regime. Uh, sometimes I slip off and on and stuff, but I think one of the most important things to have when you are clean eating and trying to avoid sugar is to have healthy snacks available in your fridge uh, that you can have with a cup of tea or just on the run having a snack so that you're not eating chocolates. And of course, it was my birthday and I got a lovely bunch of flowers behind me and I got a big tin of chocolates. And as you can see, there's hardly any left in there. They're so good. Anyway, thank my friend Grace Moyles for those. She had those delivered. Those are lovely. 30 pieces. I think there's only about five or six left in there. So while these were winking at me, I thought, no, let's get busy and let's make some nice uh, energy balls that you can carry if you're on the run, if you're going on a run, if you're going on a walk, if you're going on a bike run. It's always nice to have a burst of energy. I know a lot of people when they're golfing carry bananas and stuff with them. And when I'm golfing, I usually take an energy snack with me that I can share with my other friends who I'm golfing with. So this is relatively simple recipe. Let's see who's all on here. Yes, I am. That's exactly what I'm making, Kathy. They're kind of, I call them energy balls, but they're fruit and nut, but basically you can add anything that you want into these. Hi, Karen, how are you? Nice to see you. And Michelle, <laughs> thanks again for the popovers. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diane. Thanks very much. That was uh, August 3rd, so it was a few weeks ago now. But anyway, I celebrate my birthday all year long, 365 days of the year. Always happy to wake up in the morning and have another great day. Um, so these, I'm adding uh, uh, dried prunes. Okay, about six ounces of dried prunes. And I have some dates that needed to be used up, so I'm going to add them too. And you can add uh, dried figs if you wanted. So I've got about three ounces. Don't worry about your ounces too much. I mean, don't use like masses of ounces, but don't worry if it's only five ounces or two ounces or three ounces. So I'm adding about three ounces of dates there. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of uh, ground almond. All right, or you can use an almond flour if you like, which is just a little bit finer than ground almonds. Uh, you can use any kind of nut like cashew nuts, uh, walnuts, pecans, which I'm going to use pecans today, and just a handful of pecans. I'm going to use some, these are one of my, excuse me, I beg your pardon, <laughs> pardon me for being so rude. It was not me, it was my food. It just came up to say hello, and now it's gone back down below. Uh, this is one of my favorite oats that I use. This is an Irish oat. I love using these, so I use these a lot in cooking, and I use these for my breakfast as well. I'm using a protein powder, which is an Arborn protein powder that I use. I've got a great big bag of chocolate protein powder that needs using up. And I was so lucky to be able to buy this when I was in Florida the last time. Um, it's called Eden's Nectar Bee Pollen. 100% bee pollen and this has so many fine qualities I was just reading the back of it and I just couldn't believe it uh, containing a wide spectrum of vitamins hormones carbohydrates amino acids mineral salts 
thousands of enzymes, thousands of enzymes and coenzymes and more. Uh, increases blood supply, stimulates cell growth, preventing dehydration and smoothing wrinkles. We all got to love a bag of that bee pollen for smoothing wrinkles. Anyway, if you don't have this, don't worry about it. I just found this, and if you know somebody that does their own honey, you may be able to find a bag of this, or quite possibly you could find this in the uh, health food store as well. This is from a company called Landa Lakes, Florida. It's called Eden's Nectar Bee Pollen. I've never actually bought bee pollen before, but I am going to add this to my energy balls because, as you heard, it's got so many great qualities. <laughs> I know, I know, Kathy. I think, uh, did I not get you some honey or something last time I was there? Yeah, but just, you can put that in anything. It's kind of like in your smoothies or anything that you want to put it in. So it's a great, great asset to have. Hi, Marcia. Hi. Nice to see you and Elizabeth. Great. Well, nice to see quite a few girls on here today. Um, as I said to you, I, these chocolates have been winking at me. And of course, I have been able to uh, avoid uh, not eating them. Chocolate and love. They're organic though, right? They're organic. <laughs> so, and they were very delicious. So I'm going to get on with making these. And I've got my little mini food processors. I think I'm speaking Hungarian today. I got my mini food processor here and I'm going to put the prunes and the dates in there and give them a whiz and make it make it all nice and sticky. So when I put my oats and my almond flour, so this is really, really easy. And this is a wonderful thing for sending your kids off to school in their lunchbox too. It's a great little thing. Thing and you can make them taste so nice with the chocolate protein powder. Uh, it kind of fools them, thinking it's like a chocolate sweet. Chop these up. Sorry about the noise. Might take a few minutes to chop these. Just the noise fruit sometimes takes a little bit for chopping. So once you get them into nice small pieces, they mix in well. Let's just see what we're doing here. Oh yeah, they're, they're doing nicely. I might just add a little touch of water, okay? Because that, that'll that help them chop up a little bit. I just mix them both ways. So really, yeah, that's help. The water's help for sure. I do want a really, really kind of pace, a very thick pace. As you can see, that's what's happened just now. There we go. And just to show you, it's almost like something you'd like to put into a Christmas pudding. In fact, that reminds me, I think I'm going to make a Christmas pudding. Would any of you like to see that? I know it's not necessarily clean eating, but there you go. You've got some really nice sticky, sticky uh, prunes and dates there is what we want. Now I'm going to add probably a touch more water because we are going to need it. So there's no measurement to the water. It's just as you need it. And I'm going to add my almonds to that. A quarter cup of almonds. And I'm going to add one cup of my oats. My special Irish oats, which I love. These are quick cooking oats, so they're quite nice to have at breakfast because you can put some almond milk in them, some chai seeds, and put them in the microwave. They cook really, really fast. Very, very simple. So you see the ingredients in this are very... You can put a dash of honey in here, too, if you wanted. I uh, haven't got any honey handy here. I'd have to disappear off. I'm going to put two teaspoons of bee pollen in here. Now, that's optional. Okay, so don't, you know... Don't worry if you don't have any bee pollen. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of my chocolate protein powder, which is my Arbonne protein powder. In fact, I've got a little scoop in here, actually. There's a little scoop in here. Mmm, smells delicious, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think, this is, uh, I think this is the way to go. So you can pretend you're having a little chocolate sweet. I do have a little bit of a sweet tooth for some... Um, uh, ch chocolate at times. So I'm going to mix that and then I'm going to add some nuts in there because I might need a little touch more water. Let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're going to need a little touch more water. 
So keep a little jug of water on hand because if you add a little bit too much water, you can always add a little bit more almond flour just to thicken it up a bit or a few more things. Let me just get the sides down a wee bit. Yeah, make sure you get everything down into the, into the blades. All right, and then that'll get it all mixed and blended. Well, it's already nearly blended. Mm. Mm. I think I might just have to have a little taste of that. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, very good. It's all mixing in nicely now. You don't want it too wet. I'll tell you why, because then uh, it'll be all sticky on your hands and it won't form very well. But this is mixing up quite nicely. Now I'm going to put some pecans in there. Not necessarily measured, just a little kind of like two tablespoons of pecans. Whoop, there's an escapee put that in. And just keep mixing them up. They're all going down into the into the mixer. We'll give this another scrape down. These are really easy to make. I mean you can make these in five minutes and that's just about a perfect consistency. I don't want any more water in there at all. I just want this to all nicely blend in. And then we're going to roll these into little balls. It's nice and sticky. I quite often make, and I know Kathy, Kathy Wilson, you'll probably make the peanut butter balls and keep them on hand. I quite often make those too. Those are lovely. Peanut butter, honey, oats. Really, really nice. Just give that a bit more, maybe a touch more water. And what you can always do is you can put a little bit of uh, oats on your hands when you're rolling them and just cover them in a bit more. mix it both ways. It's very, very thick, so I'll just give one more bash down. Yeah, that's just how you want it. And you could roll it in the uh, chocolate uh, protein powder as well, if you wanted to do that. There we go. Or you could just coat your hands in a bit of almond flour and roll them. Just give it one more go. That's very nicely now. You want to make sure all your nuts get chopped up. This takes a few minutes. Your kids can help you make this. But this is a wonderful energy snack to carry with you. If you're going somewhere. There we go. Does it slowly, it works its way right around the whole thing and pulls it all down and mixes it all beautifully. It's getting very thick now. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would like to see a, me making a plum pudding, um, a Christmas pudding, but if you would like to, I will do that. So let's get this. I think that was a bit too hard for the motor there. The motor started steaming a bit. So then what you want to do is just roll these into little balls and then put them in the fridge to harden up, okay? And if you want, just put, get your water. This is quite a useful thing. Put a little water on your hands and that helps roll them up and it doesn't stick to your hands so much. So there you go, you've got a little energy ball and then you're gonna put those in the fridge in a little plastic container. I'll just put a little bit of water on my hands there. See? Keeps your hands nice and clean, apart from your thumb. <laughs> um, these are delicious, actually. These are really nice. I think I like these better than peanut butter balls. Yeah, they taste nice. So just roll them up. If you want, you could roll them in some coconut if you wanted, or you could uh, roll them in a little bit of uh, chocolate protein powder, but I think the chocolate protein powder would probably absorb um, you could roll them in some oats if you wanted to make them a little fancy or a little different. Sometimes when I'm making um, the peanut butter balls, I roll some in uh, cacao powder, then I roll some in oats, and I roll some in coconut, so they all look different. Kind of like truffles. So who's on? You use a cookie scoop. Oh, Diane, these will last for ages in the fridge. Probably a good month. <laughs> 
because uh, it's dried fruit that you're using and the other ingredients are all uh, larder ingredients and they're not going to go off your almond and your protein powder. None of the ingredients I use here will go off. All right. Can you see them all right on the plate? I don't know if you can see them. Oh, there. That's better. Now you can see them. Let's see who's on. Hi, Evie. How are you? Not long in your house. Nice to see you. Christmas pudding, Chris, uh, Karen's saying, make some Christmas pudding. Well, I might do that actually in the next couple of weeks because I should really make it. I should have made it already. Um, but just put a little bit of water on your hands here. See, don't they look lovely? So I'm, I don't know how many I'm gonna get out of here. Probably about, I would say maybe about 20. Let's say, might get two dozen out of that lot. And I'll put the ingredients up top there for you so you could see what you're doing. There. So I hope a lot of you have been following Mary's Kitchen. I put a lot of good recipes on there over the last month or so, especially during isolation. Uh, the one pan series I did. And I hope a lot of you got a chance to make that. Featured the uh, coconut and prawn recipe from my cookbook on, I think that was featured uh, this week. I'm pretty sure it was anyways, because Kathy Wilson put a comment on there because that's one of her favorite dishes she likes to make. So how easy is that? So I'll roll the rest of these when I go off. And I got a tea towel there just to do my hands. There, I'll do my fingers in the water, <laughs> clean them up. There we go. And I'm just tidy them up. So I've still got probably, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. I've got 11 there at the moment. I'd say probably I'll get a good 20 out of that little batch from that recipe that I put up there for you. And these are, as I say, great things to have on hand. It saves you from eating all the nasty sugars and things like that. Hi, Chris Walsh. How are you? <laughs> and Marion, nice to see you. You're welcome. And Swala, nice to see you as well. Uh, yeah, Karen, Christmas pudding, generally you should make around July, August. And then after about what I do is I get a great bottle of brandy and then I just put uh, like a skewer in there. Then I pour the brandy in, then I wrap it up. Another sort of week later, I put more brandy in. So basically when you're eating that pudding, it is so moist and so full of brandy. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful to have on Christmas Day. So it's a nice thing to have. So anyway, I hope you girls enjoyed that. Uh, I see I see what you're saying, Evie. Yeah, <laughs> you're not long in your house. Okay, well, listen, I hope you get a chance to make these. As I say, a wonderful little snack for you. Thanks for joining me here on Mary's Kitchen. And I hope you get a chance to look at my other recipes that I put on there or have a look at my YouTube. If you go on to my website, uh, www.maryjoancalder.com, you'll see all my Pinterest, my YouTube, my Facebook page. You'll see everything there and lots of recipes for you to enjoy as well. Thanks for coming on today, girls, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh. I forgot. Remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. See you later. Bye.